Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read and meditate on a very important verse from the Bible as we read Matthew chapter 9 verse 13 from the King James Version Bible. Here it says, But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice for i did not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance yes a beautiful word indeed let us pray let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight lord jesus christ lead us guide us help us and be with us amen matthew chapter 9 verse 13 here as it says for i did not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance yes the word is true and it says i desire mercy and not sacrifice our lord jesus christ is the god of the living and not the dead and all live to him the word is true luke 20 verse 38 and he came in this world not for the righteous but sinners for repentance sinners to repentance you may be a righteous man you may be a sinner jesus came for each one of us and he's loved each one of us as we see in jeremiah 31 verse Three. Yes, he has loved us with everlasting love. For the word is true, the word is life, the word is spirit. John 6 verse 63. And the word is life. Yes, the word is truth and living. As we read in Revelation, it speaks the mighty word speaks in 21 chapter. Yes, come what may, there is no way give up in life. Whatever is our request today my dear brother my dear sister go and put it in the front of Lord Jesus Christ he will answer your prayer for he is the maker of heaven and earth as we read in Psalm 121 it says i lift up my eyes to the hills from which does my help come from my help comes from the lord who is the maker of heaven and earth he will not let your foot be moved behold he who keeps israel will neither slumber nor sleep the lord is your keeper the lord is a shade on your right hand the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night the lord will keep you from all evil he will keep your life the lord will keep you're going out and you're coming in from this time forth and for ever more hallelujah yes our loving father loves each one of us he is our potter we are his clay he's a loving father as we read in isaiah 64 verse 8 whoever you may be wherever you may be jesus christ loves you Yes do not think you are left alone for the word is true in John 8 verse 29 I am not alone for the father is there with me he will not leave us as orphans the word is true John 14 verse 18 Jesus Christ is the light of the world John 8 12 he will make a way for us where there is no way for he is the way the truth and the life John 14 verse 6 is true the words are living i am his witness at a particular stage of life where everything turned futile the words came true only believe mark 5 verse 36 jesus christ is with us there is nothing impossible for him matthew 19:26 luke 1 37 and he will give us all that is good as we read in psalm 85 verse 12 for the eternal god is our 
refuge. The word is true as we read the mighty word Deuteronomy 33 verse 27 and he comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me Deuteronomy 33 verse 26 so why do we worry let us cast all our care on the cross for he cares for you and me 1 Peter 5 7 is true and the word says if we abide in him and his words abide in us whatever we desire when we ask if we ask we will receive yes so it is a mighty God who is the Prince of Peace the wonderful counselor and also our loving everlasting father and he is our father who will never leave us nor forsake us the words are true Deuteronomy 3 verse 6 Isaiah 9 verse 6 let us behave courageously as we read in 2nd Chronicles 19 yes the word is true in verse 11 1 Chronicles 14 10 says seek the counsel of the Lord how is that possible that is possible when we obey our living God for with obedience is victory as we read in Deuteronomy chapter 11 you would ask me what is the result the benefits of obeying our living God as we read in Deuteronomy chapter 28 1 to 14 the word says when we love him when we keep his commandments we shall be the head and not the tail thou will bless my basket we shall not borrow but lend to the nations hallelujah yes our God has a purpose in your life my life as Job 23 14 says all the purpose in my life is as per his appointment he will not leave us he will carry us he will carry us even in our gray hair and old age Isaiah 46 verse 4 is true for from the beginning he knows the end he will take care of all your needs as you yet speaking he will hear and as you pray he will answer Isaiah 65 verse 24 is true for nothing can stop what God has ordained for you Isaiah 14 27 is true yes for the word for our every situation is my presence shall go with thee and I will give you rest Exodus 33 verse 14 is true for he is a I am who I am Exodus 3 14 and he is our salvation Revelation 7 10 the word also goes for the prisoners as we read in Isaiah 49 verse 9 the word says God is saying to the prisoners go forth and those who are in the dungeon show forth yourself the word is for everyone the Bible is the manna to our soul the roadmap of life my dear brother my dear sister take out at least half an hour and read the Bible Jesus Christ will speak to you he is our Emmanuel God with us he is our Ebenezer God will help us and he is our Yahweh Ire. God will provide he is able to change your situation my situation as he is our God will provide Genesis 22 verse 14 claim the promises these promises what you receive from the Bible when you read it take out at least half an hour and read the Bible the manna to our soul and you will get abundance of blessing as we read in Ephesians 3:20 and Psalm 36 verse 8 for all the promises of Lord Jesus Christ yes all the promises of God are ya and amen in the name of Lord Jesus Christ 2nd Corinthians 1 20 my dear children my dear youth also read the Bible the props yes for there is guidance for the word is true how can a young man keep his way pure by keeping thy word yes the word is true as we read in Psalm 119 the word says as we read yes the word is lamp to my feet and light to my path Psalm 119 verse 105 Jesus Christ will give you wisdom my dear children mighty youth 
also each one of us let us ask the holy spirit which has been given to us as our guide yes it will help us to discern the right and the wrong let us take the water baptism let us receive the holy spirit the gifts and the fruits of holy spirit galatians 5:22 1 corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 and also as you believe as we read the beautiful word it says that as paul and silas were in the prison and they were praising the lord it is difficult to praise the lord when we are in troubled waters in troubled times isn't it but they were praising the lord for the prison doors flung open the philippian jailer who was there who was the jail keeper he wanted to end his life for he knew the prisoners are not there but paul and silas said wait we are here and he was touched by the power of our living god as the earthquake flung open the prison doors and he said to paul and silas what shall i do to be saved at 16 was 13 the word says believe in the lord jesus christ and you and your household will be saved it is so simple no fees required no sacrifice required the word says only believe i am a witness yes i am witness of lord jesus christ yes receive the blessings as you accept him also the word says let us repent for our sins let us confess repent and be delivered hallelujah job 42 also states the same word for the word says in job 42 too as we read the mighty word yes it says that he can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him hallelujah let us try and keep the word as it is written in the holy bible let us obey our living god and the word is true in psalm 119 verse 18 it says open my eyes o lord to see the wondrous things of your law hallelujah for when we obey we have blessings and the first commandment written by the finger of god is we have to love our living god with our all our heart mind soul and strength let us do it and receive abundance of blessing hallelujah for our mighty god loves each one of us he has all power and authority and even the evil spirits and devils shudder in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth matthew 28 is true hallelujah yes let us grow in the word of the living god god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 remember jesus christ loves you let us pray for those who are on the sick bed lord jesus christ 